silence. <laughs> That's how early it is as I'm about to catch my flight to the Bahamas. Literally this quiet because you know why? It's four o'clock in the morning. Well, it's really 440, but um, yeah, let's start this adventure. So I made it through TSA and I realized I made a few rookie mistakes. Number one, I left my tripod. I'm disgusted. Number two, I left snacks. So I just went to buy snacks. Pro tip though, for the girlies, outside of bringing your necessary tools, is definitely invest in pre-check. It's every five years, it's worth the money because the line this morning yeah, for this early of a flight, the line was like a hour wait and pre-check was down. That's all I'm saying, think about it. Hotel tour, the bathroom. This is a shower. And this is a toilet. This is a weird. Yeah, right. It's like holographic. <laughs> Hangings. Our cute little king bed, so we can cuddle. Ten percent off return space. Ten percent. Okay, it's a cute little balcony. That's our pool. Adult only, I might add. And then over there, so we're at the SLS, but that's the whole Bahamar, and it's like shopping, and we can access the other hotel and other stuff like that. So this is exciting. Well, this looks fabulous. And then our room is up there somewhere. So I have been at the pool all day for hours, just lounging. I took some meetings. Um, honestly, the best thing I did today was we came so early. Like, so I was taking meetings and working, the pool wasn't packed at all. And now it's, it's getting pretty packed, but I'm gonna take a dip in the water. You've been eating so good. Um, and now we're about to watch on some truffle fries and head to the beach. Today. Stay tuned. We are now on our way to dinner. We're going somewhere local, like I think it's called Curly's and Bahamas, and I'm super excited for the comforters. Super, 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 super excited because I love a good comforter. But yeah, so we're off. I uh, tried to get dress details. It's not given much, but it's from Amazon. I'm gonna try to get another shot and show y'all what I have on, but these earrings are so cute. They're from Target. Hello. Um, and the hair is just hair. And it had to be put up today. Maybe tomorrow it'll be down. Go back. Love you guys. One, two, three. Woo! Okay, the day, night, whatever is over. We had a full day of relaxation, great food, laughs and loves. And now I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm about to take this makeup off, take these earrings off, decompress. I see my hair is already wrapped up, ready to go. Um, tomorrow should be a chill day. We're going to the lazy river. They have like a whole water park out at our hotel. So we're not about to do no slides or anything like that. We don't have no kids. But we're gonna do Lazy River, try to get some really cute pictures. And then we found out our hotel has nine pools. So we're gonna try to go to a different one than the one we went to today. Um, and tomorrow we're going to a really nice dinner that Artie found. It's at a restaurant called Costa. It's called Costa, right? Costa, yeah. yeah. And it's supposed to be really fancy and apparently like walking to the restaurant, it's like you're walking through lily pads. So can't wait because we're going to be flicking it up. I'm out. Have a good night, y'all. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Hey, girlies. Um, it is 7.30 in the morning. I am awake, about to head to the gym. But you absolutely have to see this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous view from like this terrace in my hotel. Like, look at this. 
the sun is kind of messing things up, but the pool is so quiet and so nice. And it's like the whole, all the hotels together. But so your girl is up early today because we have some goals. We're gonna go to the gym, get our walking in. You know, I've been doing my three to four miles. I probably won't do that because um, I'm on treadmill, so it's not as fun. But I will actually get a workout in, do some good full, full body, and then um, ah, massage. I have not had my body touched by a massage by a masseuse. I haven't had my body touched by a masseuse in too long. I need it. That girl's in the car. So I will give you all the details. The spot looks amazing at um, Baja Mar. Um, so I'm really excited. Let's go check it out. There it goes. This is the spa. I'm in the spa actually in here, so I get to do a double whammy. So I just had the most amazing workout. Um, I want to take videos in there, but there's a lot of people, like, for a vacation spot that early in the morning, it was packed in that gym. Really good gym, though. Um, and then I took a shower, and I'm getting ready for my spa day, so, um, and my nice little robe is nice and comfy, and I'm about to just get a nice, sweetest massage. I really wanted 80 minutes, but I don't have a lot of time because I have to work today. Boo, I know working on vacation. Um, but I'm getting my 50 minutes in, and we're going to see how it goes. This is the relaxation area. So, you know, got my feet up while I wait. While I wait. Let's do this. Y'all, it was everything. I got rubbed down so good. So good. I'm gonna walk up out of here so I can stop whispering. Hold on. Okay. My morning is complete. Got a good workout. Got what else I do? Got my good little massage. So I'm walking back to my room. Me and Artie wanna go be children. <laughs> There's a water park here um, at Baja Mar. We're not going on the slides or anything. We legit just wanna go on a lazy river. So gonna go back, freshen up a bit, and um, get my cute little bandsuit on and head to Lazy River. I have some meetings today. So I gotta figure that out with my schedule, but things will get done. We are off to the pool. Twinning today. <laughs> this different color. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. So I guess if I could do a late night working vlog, I can do a working remote vlog. So today is actually a really kind of busy day wise, like meetings and XYZ. But I'm keeping it, I'm working it out. So planning like activities along with my meetings that I have. So the NBA finals just ended and it's a lot of things. We have to transition as well as we're getting ready for the draft. Um, but I had to do all that by the pool. Like it had to happen. There was no way I was going to keep doing this. Um, so honestly, major tips that help. If you are going to work remote by the pool, one, headphones. So first of all, these headphones, nobody can hear any background music at all. I'm literally right next to a speaker and nobody on Zoom can hear it. That's one. So make sure like you test out your environment. Like get on a call with someone you know who's really chill and just say, hey, can you hear the background? What is it like? X, Y, Z. Two, make sure your camera is off unless you want to make everybody jealous that you're at the pool. Mm. Three, if you're cool like that with your manager, let them know. Like, I did let my manager know I was going to be in the Bahamas just in case anything did come up or something happened with the internet. Things are just not consistent. And then four, as I said several times, get a VPN. Get a VPN. Are we childish if we've been waiting for this all day? Nope. <laughs> we are at the river! Oh! We're I wish I could turn around and get both of us, but here I am. Right, should have been the first. All right. Um, we're getting ready for dinner. We're going to Costa. 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 Uh, already picked it. It is a Mexican place. It's supposed to be really, really good. It's supposed to be, apparently the ambiance. There's a koi fish pond and we're going out. Y'all yeah, look nice though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I ate. Girl, y'all heard that? A bunch of teeny boppers told me that we ate. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, speaking of teeny boppers, this whole hotel is filled with a bunch of high schoolers. Like, they all decided, apparently a bunch of schools in New Jersey, all the high schoolers, like, graduated at the same time, and they came down to the Bahamas at our Pacific Resort and have been wrecking havoc. The girls are fine. The boys are just giving frat boy, and they're not even in college yet. I finally found some good lighting in this lobby. They tried to do mood lighting all up and through this hotel. But yeah, so we're going to dinner after hanging out with a bunch of teeny boppers all day at the pool. It's fine. Anyway, quick look into the outfit. You can't see much, but hair is giving. Earrings are from Target. They're like a, like a dented thing, like dented metal. I can't explain it. And then outfit is from Fashion Nova. Sandals, we already So that's it. See you at dinner. You look so oh, pretty. Give me a spin. Give me a spin. Ew. Ooh. Say hi, family. Turn around. Say hi. 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 Say hi, man. We're off to dinner. Which closes at 9 30 for no reason. It's okay. It closing at 9 30 is not going to be a problem for us. Come on. I don't need to finish my food. You need to finish your food? All right, diva. I wish there was more light to like really show you guys, but this is the restaurant. This is the entrance. Okay. You're on YouTube. Oh, we are. Say hi. How do you feel about me crashing your vacation? I'm having a great time, and it's wonderful to have you here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. so, I mean, you always crash our house. So I always different? crash your house. That's so offensive. So Okay, all right. Your house was on the plane. Is that how you feel, Uncle Ellis? You just add to the, all the love we're already feeling. Wow, that was beautiful. See, she, she's a hater. We're at dinner. We're at Costa. Doing the uh, the tasting menu. We're getting guacamole, scallop ceviche. What else we getting? Salmon al pastor. No, that's not wrong. That's not right. Burri oh, yeah, we're getting short rib burrito tacos, some type of salmon, and chocolate flan. I love flan, so this is going to be really good. Stay tuned. Okay, so our first round came. We have the scallop ceviche, the guacamole. What are these, tortilla chips? Oh, and these are yuca chips. Oh, my goodness. Oh, more scallop ceviche. Oh. Oh, we're eating. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Look at that. Excellent. Oh, my God. Yes. First. So it's 10 years of being with you. Being with you. I, I, I am beyond blessed because you not only spoil me, but you um, allow me to be who I am. And for that, it just shows because I'm here with you on our anniversary and my bestie can come and my daughter can come, right? Um, uh, no, oh yeah, you, you, we knew that. You're, you have to come. But, um, we're going to go anywhere in the world. We came here. Um, I have had a great time so far. I love you beyond words. And I would give you a thousand more years if I could. Happy anniversary. Happy I love you guys. I love you guys. guys. It was beautiful. Oh, great. Okay. Killer crashers. Yeah. Okay, don't get too mushy. That was nasty. Dinner is now over. We are heading back to our hotel. Auntie Barney, you're leaving us? Um, yeah, I have to go because I have to get ready for a. Is your YouTube shoot voice? Tomorrow. Is your YouTube voice? Oh, okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm oh going my God. because I have to get ready for my photo shoot tomorrow. It's going to be so amazing. I can't wait. Oh my God. We're doing a kayak photo shoot that she booked tomorrow, y'all. It's going to be a lot, but I'm going to go back to the hotel, clear this makeup off, wrap my hair up, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning. It's Bahamas day three. It's also Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Today, I'm going to the gym, probably have some breakfast. Then me, my aunt, and Artie are going to the beach and we're gonna take kayaks, like the kayak photo shoot. I'm actually really nervous. I don't know what it is. In front of a camera, I can be a little weird and awkward. So, we're gonna find out. Um, but it's gonna be fun. And then afterwards, we're probably just gonna frolic at the beach, maybe go to my aunt's pool at the Atlantis. And then, um, to be honest, I don't know. Mid during the day, anything could happen. But I know tonight we're going to Nobu for dinner. I have the cutest outfit from Topshop. So stay tuned. Y'all, it is so hot outside. 
I had to come and eat my breakfast inside. Like, I, I couldn't. And there's, like, no clouds. Um, and because it's a little windy, they won't put the shades up. So I was just boiling. Bacon like a chicken out there. Just some brownies. Okay? Um, doesn't matter. Though. We're about to leave to go do our kayak photo shoot. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a little self-conscious about my bathing suit. All my friends say it's cute, especially for the pictures. But... I just felt a little too naked. But I guess y'all see the pictures when they come out. Uh, I even have like a chain bathing suit <laughs> for after the pictures. But all my friends were like, no, keep it on, you're cute, you're cute. So we'll see. Anyway, so waiting for our ride. And while I wait, I'm eating some egg bites from Starbucks. And I got a green tea passion iced tea lemonade. Be waiting for our ride. Keep you updated because I'm really excited for this kayaking. All right, we're at the beach. Getting ready for the kayaking photo shoot. Auntie Barney's ready to go. I'm gonna show you her whole outfit. Me and Artie just sitting here like, okay. But, one sec. What we got here? There she goes. already starting she already starting Because like, they know you're a model. They wow. Know I'm a model, but I don't realize like, how hard it is my job. Like, uh -huh. you know, I had to get this money at 6 a.m. Okay. To go to the shoot. Yeah. And you can have to arch your back, your neck. Like, you know, it's terrible. It's so much. It's yeah, just so like, much. You see the glow after, right? The yeah. I don't realize how much, how much go. work goes yeah, into have, those I pictures. I work at 5 o'clock every morning. Yeah. To get myself in shape for this kind of stuff, you know? You wake up, you work out at 5 a.m. every morning, every you said? Day. Yeah, to do this kind of stuff, you know? Come on. Anyway, we got coconut shrimp, cracked pot, ooh, and of course plantains. Mm -hmm. The way I love plantains. Oh, literally, we are just posted up in bed. After the kayak thing, went to Junkanoo Beach. I had some good food. And now I'm just relaxing. It's like five and we have dinner at nine o'clock at Nobu. So, mm, I guess while I wait, I can review, like rate the hotel. It's nice. We're at Baja Mar and there's like different towers, the Rosewood, the Grand Hyatt, SLS. I think there's another one, but whatever. They're all really nice. The Rosewood, like if you say the Rosewood, you got money. Money, 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 because it's so like it's such a clear difference when you walk over there. Um, but Grand High is cool, typical like resort, and then SLS is like somewhere in between the two, but really nice. Like ours definitely gives a more adult ambiance. Like all of them are connected, and then you can like walk down to the boardwalk. The boardwalk is absolutely gorgeous, and that's where you can like there's a bunch of shops out there. There's you can, there's like things to buy as far as like food but things to buy as far as like um gifts and things like that and then that's how you get to the beach like the beach up along the resort and then they also have like their own water park we went to the water park not to actually go on like any slides but we did the lazy river which was super 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 fun um and all in all like everything's really comfortable first of all our bed like you get in and it's just like you sink in it like you just it just engulfs you like a cloud. And we're trying to look for like where the sheets are from, where their pillows are from, and they're all SLS brand. 
what I'm most mad about this SLS brand is when I went to the gym and then went to get my massage, you know, like in that little locker room, a lot of spas will have like lotions, um, you know, soaps, like stuff like that while you're like changing. They also had a deodorant spray. Y'all, this was the best deodorant I've ever used in my life. And I asked the spa if like, they sell it because they had their own little store. And they were like, we sell literally everything else. Every other product you can find in that locker room except the deodorant. I want to cry. Now I'd be wrong if I go and steal a bottle, right? I'm not going to, but I've thought about it. Um, bottle and all, I'd probably give this resort an 8 and a half out of 10. Like, it's nice that the SLS has its own pool, adult only. Um, the service is great. Everybody's been amazing. I, I, I'm not saying any issues. Oh, there was one hiccup. If you do come to the Bahamas and you need to get a taxi, do not get a taxi to the hotel. <laughs> because they tried it. They stole our money. They stole our money. Like, normally a taxi, like, we took a taxi from the airport to the hotel. $27 USD cash, right? We didn't have any more cash, so we just needed like to order one with a card. So we're talking to like the concierge for one with a card. She was like, yeah, I'll get you one. They pull up in a black truck, picks us up, brings us to the place, comes back, brings us back to the hotel. Now, I knew it was going to be more than $27. You know, honestly, I estimated maybe like 50 because it was like a premium car, blah, 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 blah. But we went literally six minutes. We went down the block. We did not go far. Homeboy said the total is $130 round trip. <laughs> and I, we just, when we went back to the concierge and she's like, yeah, like, like the way she was talking about it's like, yeah, everybody knows that. Like if you do the local people, then you'll pay cash. And like where you were going probably would have been again, like 20 something, 30 something dollars. And she goes, but it was a premium truck. Yeah, it was a black suburban. Uber is less than that for how far we went. Literally, we were, it was a six minute drive. So round trip is 12 minutes, $130. The blasphemy of these people. Based off of that part, we might knock the 8.5 down to an eight because they really did try it. Like, they didn't explain that. They didn't say anything. Like, why would we just know? But other than that, the trip is going well. I can't wait for Nobu later. It's going to be a time. I'm going to take a nap and relax, and I'll see y'all later. All right, me and Artie Girl are out. Are we going this way? We are heading to Nobu for another family dinner. I will give outfit deets a little later because I'm actually really loving this fit. Okay, let's get into the outfit details. So the top and the bottom are both Topshop. It's like, a, I'm going to back up so you can see the full thing. Flowy pants. And it's like, they're both like this greenish color, but this is lighter than this. And I love the color blocking. I never do stuff like this. So I've really been challenging myself on this trip to be more a fashionista. Sandals, you already know the vibes, clear. And yeah, my earrings, Balenciaga dupes, or I forgot what dupes they are. Whatever, they're dupes from Amazon. And yeah, the hair is just... Hey guys. We are here with the family. Hey, hey. Maddie, give me a swirl, give me a twirl. Oh, you look so pretty. Uncle Ellis in the linen shirt. Auntie in the flowy dress. Artie in the back with a, with a cute two-piece. And we are at Nobu. All right, to Nobu, to family, to 10 years of love, uh, to the best second family I've ever had. We have the spicy tuna, the yellow film over there. Look at that, look at it. It's so beautiful. And this is the best side car I've ever had in my life. A plate for a king. Wow, it's, sh it's all sashimi. This looks so good. I had a look how happy he looks. Look how happy he looks. Smile. <laughs> what are you eating? It's your first time eating octopus? You like it? What would you rate it? One out of ten. A 30? Wow, girl. Okay, okay. The fanciest fish and chips I've ever seen in my life. Looks so good. Ooh, we got beef. 
Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna smell it, all right. It's gonna smell delicious. Damn. Thank you. Thank. You. I'm gonna take a. Uh, Sorry, you ten years. All right, it's my last day in the Bahamas. I already started my morning with the gym, same routine, you know, embracing the sun that I've been doing every day. But um, today we're just doing a different thing. We're going to the pool. We're actually going to have breakfast. So don't have breakfast, which I needed because the workout was a bit intense today. So we're having breakfast, um, checking out. But honestly, our flight is not till six, so we're going to a whole pool party. <laughs> Um, our hotel opens up another pool on Thursdays only and they have a pool party that we'll be going to after breakfast. So stay tuned for the goodness. Last day, just lounging by the pool. The pool party was lame. The, apparently the real pool party is Saturday, which I will not be here for, so it's fine. Um, it's fine. Taking my last day in, enjoying the sun. And then get some of my favorite foods by the pool, the tuna tartare, the burrata salad, banging. If you ever come to the Bahamas and come to the SLS, definitely get that burrata salad. Uh, we will be leaving around four o'clock to head to the airport. And then I'm back in New York. And it's the end of the Bahamas vlog, guys. Like, ooh. But then we're we'll transitioning to our weekend vlog. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. Um, but I have other trip vlogs coming up. Next week, I'm going to DC. The week after that, I'm going to Mexico City. We got Vegas in July. We're going back to Florida in July. What else I got? I think I'm trying to do something in August, but I don't know. I haven't been booked yet. So this won't be the last travel vlog, but if there's anything else you want to see specifically for travel vlogs, let me know so I know next time I do better. <laughs>